Good morning. Good morning. Today we are going to Thailand. We are super, super excited. We have a very long journey though. It's going to take 14 hours to get there. We're flying from London to Ukraine and then Ukraine to Bangkok. to Bangkok we did kind of accidentally fall asleep when we got here because we were tired but forgive us we were on a 14 hour plane journey we're gonna venture outside and go and explore mm -hmm. our hotel's really really nice it's called the Shanghai mansion I really recommend it it's really cute and the staff are so nice they're really friendly we're pretty excited we're gonna go explore yeah because we've been in the hotel room far too long Exactly. As nice as the hotel room is. We should probably go see Bangkok, so. Exactly. <laughs> see you in a bit. Bye. So we just got a boat down the river to a temple called Wat it's really beautiful and everything's amazing and I feel like I'm in a film. This place is crazy. <laughs> We are going around the city of Atua, Atua, and we are currently visiting the Bangkok Palace, which is the summer palace. We've rented out a golf buggy, which is what Phil's driving right now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> We are now in Wat Hat Tao, which are some lovely temple ruins. These were built in 1375.
How many jewels can you see? At least. At least. We are now in Watfo where the giant reclining Buddha is. Um, it's so quiet here, there's barely anyone here. Um, whereas in the palace it was absolutely busy, like it was rammed, everyone was bashing into each other. Um, but I think it's because it's the king's birthday today, so pretty much all of Thailand are just in the palace. But this place is so quiet, it's lovely. the Buddha. <laughs> flight to Chiang Mai but before that we're gonna explore a bit try and find some street food and then we are gonna go to a temple called Wat Saket which is this big temple high up and it has a really cool view of Bangkok there's Phil Hello. <laughs> climbed up Wat Saket or otherwise known as the Golden Mountain and now we're going to get a taxi to the airport and get a flight to Chiang Mai. We have arrived at our second stop of the holiday which is yeah. Chiang Mai. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is our hotel room. It's called Glare. It's really nice. There's a pool outside. It looks cute. We're about to go out and explore. There's a night market on tonight.
So we are now in Chiang Rai and we're at the White Temple, it's really beautiful. We weren't allowed to take any photos inside but there was a really interesting mural on the wall. It had Michael Jackson on it, uh, Spider-Man, Batman, uh, Keanu Reeves which is super weird um, but it also had uh, more serious things like 9-11 or Pompeii and um, stuff like that. And the reasoning behind that is when you walk away from the wall, you look up and there's a big face. And apparently this face is like a spirit that lives inside of you and uh, basically decides what decisions you're going to make during your life, whether they be good or bad. And then it's also got a part where you're, it's kind of like judgment, where you're going off to heaven or hell. And that's why as well, at the front of the temple, there's loads of hands reaching up. Those are all the people in hell. Um, basically doing their punishment, doing their time for what they've done on this earth. So it's super interesting here, I would definitely recommend coming here if you're staying in Chiang Mai. Um, the tour bus did take a while, it took us about four hours to get here, but once we're here it's just incredible. went to some temple ruins. The top of the spire was destroyed in a 2011 earthquake and they had the old one at the bottom of the temple. It said that the earthquake was in 2011 but in the Buddhist year, and I didn't know that the Buddhist year had a different year, but the Buddhist year was 2554, which is crazy. But our tour guide said that they either write the date as 2018 or as 2561 which sounds pretty far into the future but apparently that is the year this year um, in the Buddhist year which is super interesting now we're in a different country we just got the boat across the river and we are now in Laos 
Good morning! <laughs> Today we are going to Doi Inthanen National Park. It looks pretty cool, we're super mm. excited mm. and we're gonna go have some breakfast and then uh, Mr. Ek who was our tour guide from yesterday, who was really, really nice, is taking us on this tour again today. So we, we think, yeah. Well, we, we think. I got an email last night saying it was someone called Mr. Eck. I don't know how many Mr. X there are, but yeah. <laughs> now in a small little mountain market which is really cute. Wander around, try some bits, yep. speak to some people. <laughs> So in Bangkok you get tuk-tuks to get around, but in Chiang Mai you get in these little red vans, you just hop in the back. It's only 30 baht per person, which in British currency is around 80p. So it's super cheap and you get around super quick. It kind of reminds me of Uber Pool, because you get in and then other people can get in along the way and go to where they need to go. Good morning! Where are you? Good morning! <laughs> Today we are going on a Thai cooking class. We're going to make all the dishes that we've had here that are our mm. favourite. Tom yum. And then we are going to go check out the old city temples and we might also go in the pool because we haven't been in the pool yet. And we fly to Phuket tomorrow so. That's bad. We're on, chance to go in the pool. we're on holiday and we haven't been swimming yet. Whoopsie. I guess we swam with elephants. Hi. Kind of. Just got muddy with the elephants but yeah. So we'll see you at the cooking class. Bye. Thank you. 
So first of all, they've taken us to this market and we're learning about all the different ingredients that we're going to be using in our dishes at the cooking class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use your head. Four. One, yeah. One, two, It's not bad. This is my green curry. What are you making? Now we're gonna make a pad thai. Yes, <laughs> <Bye -bye. laughs> smile. Smile. <laughs> So we just came back from the cooking class, it was so fun, it was probably one of the best things that we've done here actually, in my opinion, I thought it was pretty good. Chiang Mai? Yeah, in Chiang Mai, did you not enjoy it? Yeah, we've done loads of good stuff. We've done loads of good stuff, but I really, really did enjoy the cooking class, because it was such a small group, and it was so chilled, and I don't know, it just felt like something real yeah. in Chiang Mai to do. I mean, everything's obviously real. I don't know how to do it. Authentic. That's a good word for it. It felt very authentic, so I really enjoyed that. And the ladies there were super, super nice. Now we're going to go in the swimming pool. We haven't actually been in the swimming pool since we've been here, so we're just going to chill out by the pool a little bit. And then, whilst it's still light, we're going to go to the old city temples in the middle of Chiang Mai. So we'll see you in a bit. Bye. We are now at the old city temples. This one behind me is called Wat Chedi Luang. There's one in Chiang Mai and there's also one in Chiang Rai, which we visited the other day. But this one is the original. Today we are in Phuket, we flew from Chiang Mai yesterday to Phuket um, we underestimated kind of how long it would take to get from the airport to the hotel. Mm. It took ages. Um, if you are coming here, you can either spend 1,000 baht for a private taxi or you can pay 200 per person for like a big minivan but then lots of other people get in the minivan depending on where they're going in Phuket. So it took ages, it took like three mm. hours to get to the hotel. Well, we were there 
most southern hotel. Yeah. So we were the last ones to. So to basically travelled the whole of Phuket. Yeah. But we are in Phuket, and mm -hmm. today we are going to James Bond Island. So we are. I think it's called Panglang Bay. I'm not sure. Um, and we're going to a little island called Nakanoi, which looks super beautiful. Yeah. And we're going to canoe as well. So yeah, I'm going to film that. It's all going to be on like the GoPro because there's a lot of water. So you might not hear us as much. But um, yeah, I'm super excited. Excited? Yeah, get in that water. Yeah. Get in that water. Bye. This village is on stilts and there's no like government here so they have their own like power they, they they're all fishermen and they rely on like tourism and selling fish it's interesting and they've got a post office <laughs> uh, yeah it's crazy to have a post office yeah, but other than that they do everything themselves which is really interesting so they got like a doctor <laughs> No, 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 What are those?
today we are going to the Big Buddha on top of the hill and then we are also going to check out Katanoi Beach which is apparently meant to be super beautiful mm. and then in the evening as well we might be going to a bar where you can like see the sunset yeah. which would be pretty cute. Are you excited? I am, it's our penultimate day in Phuket though. Sad. Sad. Let's get out there then, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Bye! project that basically keeps this place up and running and also finishes construction. I'm going to write a little message on it and then tie it on the tree. Today we are going back to Katanoi Beach because it was so lovely yesterday. Also in the evening we're going to go to a restaurant called The Boathouse which is supposed to be super nice and really recommended. And then tomorrow we're getting a flight from Phuket to Bangkok which is super sad because then we have one full day in Bangkok and then the next day we go back home to London which sucks. It suck. It sucks. Can, suck. we, can we stay forever? No. I didn't hear a yes and I didn't hear a no, so maybe we should just stay. So now we're going to the Boathouse, which is supposed to be a really, really good restaurant in Phuket. You excited? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's got good seafood, so. And the sunset on the beach, which is pretty cool. and do it in an artistic way. <laughs> um, so artistic. Are right, you ready? Sure. What, are you going to do it again? Oh. <laughs> Good 
Good morning! We're back in Bangkok, baby! <laughs> so this morning we got a flight from Phuket to Bangkok. We're now in Bangkok for one day and then tomorrow we go back to London, which is super sad, but we're going to make the most of today. We are going to go to the Tailing Chan floating market and then we're going to go to a 360 bar where you can, and like a restaurant where you can see the mm. whole of Bangkok city. So let's try and fit our last day of Bangkok in now. But I'm super excited. We love Bangkok. We are now heading to Chat to Chat Weekend Market, which is one of the world's largest flea markets. Let's go buy stuff! We're going to film. To the sky bar. We're going to the sky view, which is a rotating restaurant. So you get a whole 360 view of Bangkok. And you should too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching all these videos. This is the last video. <laughs> so that was our last Thailand video, which is super sad. So if you enjoyed this video and all the other videos, then please subscribe, comment, like, share, and all of that stuff. Also, you can follow us on Instagram here to see all the photos from this trip. Hopefully some added extras, whatever. And we will see you in the next video. Where's that going to be? Don't know, mate. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye. -bye.